What's up everyone? Jason here. Hope you're having a good holiday weekend. It's just winding down, so I thought I would take a bit of time and do this little CD and vinyl update slash pickups vid. So we're starting off here with one of my favorite albums of this year so far. And this hasn't been out that long, like a month or so, maybe something like that. Maybe a little bit, a little bit over a month, I guess. But yeah, this is uh, Selim Brigham and La Ronge, producer extraordinaire, and they teamed up. And this is called Marlow. This is one hell of an album. And let's take it out here so you can get a look. This thing stinks, man. I don't know what they made the made this out of, like with the ink or whatever, but stanky. There you have the Mellow Music Group insignia. <laughs> Everybody loves the Mellow Music Group, right? But yeah, so here's the record. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Nice design. It's almost like abstract art as you're watching it spin around on the turntable. It's uh, fascinating. I should put this back in here. And keep it nice and safe. And it has a nice sleeve. So, yeah. Gotta like that. I don't want to sleeve that right there. Also, on the vinyl side, I got the Razzy Kazzy Classic Soul on Ice. It's on double vinyl, as you'll see right there. I don't bother taking this one out because it's just black, but yeah. Yeah, classic album there. Sure, everyone is familiar with that. And that's it for the vinyl. I haven't picked up too many records, so we'll just skip right into the CDs. And another album I really enjoyed this year. This is Daytona by Pusha T, made famous by his uh, Dista Drake. <laughs> I think that song was more famous than anything on this album, but yeah, I love this. It's only, of course, it's the Kanye special, the seven track special, but. Really good stuff. And I'd never picked up uh, My Name Is My Name before, so I saw that real cheap. So I picked that up as well. Double shot of the Pusha T. We have a little local action from Halifax. Ghetto Socks with Tree to the Day. If you're not familiar with Ghetto Socks, he's a entertaining dude. He just has all sorts of subject matter. You know, he talks about food a lot. <laughs> but he also has like serious subject matter, so. Yeah, check them out if you're not familiar. Ghetto Socks. Coming out of Halifax, Nova Scotia. And we have another of my favorite albums of this year. With Evidence coming in. I was going to get this on. Oh, I have the CD out of here. And I think I have it in the car. But, yeah. I was going to get this on vinyl because Prime Sears packaging is always nice on the vinyl tip. But... My local store is slacking on getting it, so I was just like, screw it, I'll just buy the CD. Maybe someday if the final comes along the right price, I'll pick it up. What the hell? I can't get this thing closed. There we go. But yeah, cool, cool artwork. Not artwork, I guess, but just photos. And there's the man himself, Mr. Weather, or not. And then we'll get into another one of my favorite albums. This is non-hip-hop. This is Sleep. It's called The Sciences. And Sleep, they're like a doom uh, stoner type band. So if you're into that type of stuff like I am, then definitely give this a listen if you haven't. Kind of Black Sabbath influence, but I prefer it. And the uh, Sleep Classic we have here. So this is some of their old stuff. So if you're into that as well, this is a good one to pick up. I don't know why I didn't have this before, but... Yeah, so let's sleep with Holy Mountain. Then we have a little more mainstream action. Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Getaway. I used to love Red Hot Chili Peppers when I was a kid. Like, they were really influential musically for me. Because I was pretty much just listening to hip-hop until they came along. And then I started listening to them. And had a couple friends that were into them, so... But yeah, this is their newest album, and... Uh, I'm a big fan of John Frusciante, their old guitar player, but uh, this new dude is kind of seems like he's finding his groove. So that album's all right; it's not not too bad. 
And we're gonna get into some classic stuff here. We got Company Flow with the Fun Crusher Plus. This is an album I've been meaning to pick up for ever. And I just recently found a decent price on it. So I was like, you know what, this is the reissue. But super happy I got that finally. So I can get down with the Fun Crusher Madness on the CD. And also from Def Jux, we have Aesop Rock with Bazooka Tooth. I don't know why I didn't pick this up before either, but, you know, I've been listening to it. But there you have a little uh, Def Jux, like, sample or disc. We, yeah. Cool artwork on this, too. Aesop, you can't go wrong with the Aesop. So... Seeing that I picked that up, I also got Skeleton, another one that I should have picked up a while ago on CD, but didn't. And this is the Rhyme Sayers action here again, so cool packaging. Let's get the songs up there, track listings, the credits, all that good stuff. Of course, we have a poster in there, booklet, so yeah, always good stuff from Rhyme Sayers. Taking it back. We have also from Halifax, the legendary Buck 65 with Weirdo Magnet. Really not much in this packaging, just, uh, you know, classic Buck 65 shit. And then we have a little Mad Child action here, Darkest Hour. Again, this is a, one of those cheapo packagings that you see frequently now. Just has the uh, front, a picture inside the disc, and... That's it, man. Pretty, uh, pretty lacking, but whatever. It's all about the music, I guess. I keep telling myself that. Here we have a great album. I love this album. It's by B. Dolan, Kill the Wolf. If you're not familiar with B. Dolan, he's uh, down with Sage Francis. They have a group, the Wicked Beard Men. But yeah, this album is, this is good shit. Kill the Wolf, B. Dolan. Getting into a little Watson and Holmes. So we have the Stu Bangas and the uh, Blackistan. Oh, Rick. Yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty good album. It's not, not too bad at all. I kind of enjoy it. Blackistan is a really good MC. Stu Bangas brings the, the beats. So here we have Afro Polo. Of course, produced by Marco Polo. Afro on the mic. As everybody knows, Afro's the uh, affiliated with Ari, the Rugged Man. Rugged Man's taking care of him. <laughs> Poking him up with Marco Polo, you can't go wrong there. And you see uh, Cool G Rap, DJ Polo, Root to the Riches, the Mad Villain record. So, yeah, some of his influences there for sure. Good shit. And this is an album I was trying to get for the longest, and I wasn't aware that. It was readily available again until uh, I think Moods and Tom let me in on that. So glad they did. Picked it up. It's the Elzai Elmatic with Will Sessions providing the instrumentation. All live music. And with this, of course, they uh, basically remake Elmatic. And it's the beats are the same, only it's done by the live band. And Elzai doing his thing. Elzai is definitely one of the top MCs in the game. Of course, he put out that Jericho Jackson album as well. Very good. And here we have Milano Constantine, The Way We Were. Now, this is really cheap packaging. Just has the uh, sleeve like this. You don't even get a open up. So you just have to kind of sneak in there and come out with it. There he is. Yeah, so that's it, man. Yeah, this is a good album though. I got a pretty decent price on it, so can't complain about the packaging too, too much. Lots of good production on there. DJ Skiz, Marco Polo, taking care of business. So yeah. Oh yeah, this also has the uh, instrumentals, which is really cool. Speaking of instrumentals, one of my favorite producers, The Alchemist, Russian Roulette. This album is, man, this, I don't know, when this came out, I was fascinated by this shit. It's just, uh, it's really, really bizarre. It's so good. Lots of cool artwork in here, too. Look at this. Yeah. Good stuff. 
stuff. So yeah, Alchemist, Russian Roulette. When did this come out? It must be like, that's a while ago now. It must be like five years. Oh, there it is, 2012. It's so like six years ago this came out. Definitely good stuff though, one of my favorites. A great album from last year, or was it last year? Because it initially came out before last year, but some people considered it one of their top albums of last year. <laughs> but here we have Ears, Here, Spears by Insight and Damu the Fudge Monk on the production. Yeah, it's really good. Another cheap packaging, but what are you gonna do? All right, we're getting into some hardcore action. Slip this in. This is Jane Doe by Converge. I had this before. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, I saw it at the used store, so I thought I would pick it up. And I'll show you one thing here. If you want to see a booklet, this is a serious booklet. Got the lyrics and the kind of artwork. Yeah, that's the way it should be done right there. Cool, cool stuff like that. And if you're into the hardcore scene at all, of course, this is known as a classic album. Some people think it's their best, but it's definitely one of their best, I'd say. But Converge with Jane Doe. And getting into some old shit here. We got uh, Lords of the Underground, Here Come the Lords. I had this on cassette, but I never had it on CD. I got this for like a couple dollars. It was super cheap on eBay. It's in like mint condition. It's like brand new. I don't think they even played the damn thing. So, yeah. Lords of the Underground. And another old one. Got the Black Sheep nonfiction. This CD has eluded me for a long time. I have their first album on. I have this one as well on cassette, but. I was never able to find it on CD, but finally picked that up as well, so that's good. Another oldie, it's the Grand Poobah with the Real of Real. I love this album so much, the beats on it are just so good. Yeah, Grand Poobah never goes wrong. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good chill, chill shit. We have some non-fiction, the future is now. This is like a, the third or fourth re-release of this shit, but glad I have it. It's kind of a lackluster version, but I'll take it. Good artwork. Yeah, lots of good songs on here. And getting back into this year, we have one of my favorite MCs, Rock Marciano. Rosebud's Revenge 2, The Bitter Dose. And this is kind of like the ink is almost coming off of there. It's weird. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if it's just super cheap. Because see here, it's like it's it's on there solidly. But on the CD, it's kind of the same. So I don't know. I don't know if it's by design. We'll pretend it's by design just to, you know, you know, just to say it. So we don't have to say it's super cheap. But there he is. There's the man, Rock Marciano. The man selling headbands and digital albums for 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever. <laughs> he's making that cash. So he's got to keep this gold game in check here. Look, he's got the, uh, looks to be a, I don't know if that's a Rolex or not. I can't really see it, but it's gold. He's, I'm sure he's got diamonds on there. He's got the pink, great big pinky ring. I mean, if you're living that life, you gotta, you gotta charge that type of money for digital releases, so can't fault him. We have Queens of the Stone Age with Villains, my least favorite album of theirs. I just didn't really get into this album at all. It's all I mean, it's all right, but it's kind of a letdown for me. It's one of my favorite bands, but we'll move on. Hopefully they come out with something stronger. Here's an interesting album, uh, Porn Theater Ushers, Taxachusetts. So, yeah, Porn Theater Ushers, if you're not familiar with them, they're always a good time. Pretty comical rhymes. And you can see the whole packaging is, you know, kind of funny shit. I mean, their name, Horn Theater Rusher, says it all. On Detonator Records. Yeah. Good stuff. Entertaining. And here's another hardcore type band. We have Every Time I Die with Low Teens. This album is awesome. 
I went to see them not too long ago, last year, and it was a hell of a show. Knock Loose opened up for them. It, yeah, it's crazy shit. Crazy show. Yeah, that's a really good album as well. Low Teens. And what was the song? I can never remember song titles. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh, Map Change, yeah. It's the last song on the album. That's one of my favorite songs of theirs ever. Definitely. This came out a couple years ago, but yeah, love that. And here we have Lone Catalyst Hip Hop. It's uh, not the best photo in the world, but it's kind of out of focus. I mean, they could have at least told the cameraman to focus on them. Oh, popped right off. Hope it's not broken. Snap a, snapped a couple of these things off recently. I was putting in my pocket, I had the old cargo shorts on, you know. So I'm hauling some serious cargo. I put one of these in the pocket, snapped it right off. It's not good. There we have focus though. There's focus. This album's all right. It's not, I mean, it's not my favorite album of theirs or anything, but it's good shit. And to end this off, we have your old Droog. You can never go wrong with your old Droog, can you? Well, I can't anyway. Some people probably hate him, but call him a Nas clone, call him whatever you want, but I think it's really good shit. And on here you get some bonus cuts. <laughs> Remixes and the like. Yeah. Good shit, good shit. So... That's it. That's all I've got to show today. And hope you guys are having a good weekend. Good day off if you're off from work on this beautiful Monday. So, that's it, man. Peace.